Climbing shoes come in all different shapes and sizes, so there are a few things that are really useful to know before you buy a pair. The first thing we're going to think about is what you're going to use them for. For example, if you're new to climbing and you're going to be doing a lot of indoor climbing, you're going to want a neutral shoe. These are rounded at the front, they will fit your foot snug and comfortably with no extra room at the end, and they tend to be lower in the price range. If you've been climbing a while, and this is potentially your second pair of shoes, we can start to think about how you would like your shoes to perform. A stiff or moderate shoe will have additional features which assist with vertical and slab climbing, such as a pointier toe or a reinforced sole. These are slightly less comfortable than the neutral shoes, but function really well as all-rounders. The reinforced sole helps support your toes if you're standing on footholds for long durations. If you're really keen on overhanging climbing, then try an aggressive shoe. These are the least comfortable of the lot, but often come equipped with heel and toe rubber, which helps with hooking. The sole is also flexible, which helps to wrap your feet around holds when climbing in overhangs. The golden question is how tight to buy your shoes. Essentially, if it's your first pair, you want them to go as tight as you can but for them to still be comfortable. You really want at least one pair of comfy shoes for when it's really cold or your feet are sore. If you're buying stiff shoes, then you can have it so that your toes are pushed slightly up against the end. This will provide extra support when you're standing on small holds. This might not feel as comfy as a neutral shoe, but you should still be able to wear them for half an hour to an hour plus. If you're in the business of getting max performance on steep terrain, then you're gonna want your toes pushed up quite hard against the end of your shoe and the knuckles of your toes pushing up into the knuckle box. When fastened tightly, your heels should not slip at all. Now beware, it can be very demoralizing if your shoes hurt, so don't buy them if they're painful and pay attention to what the upper is made from. It's expected that your climbing shoes will stretch over time and this largely depends on the material that the upper is made of. The upper can be made of synthetic or leather, with leather stretching more, up to half a size, and synthetic uppers hardly stretching at all after you've worn them. In terms of the sole, most rubber is the same, with moderate and aggressive shoes having slightly softer rubber. This means they wear out faster but have much more grip, whereas the neutral shoes are significantly more hard wearing. The fastening system determines how easy it is to get your shoes on and off. So if your shoes are really tight, I would recommend Velcro. But for shoes you could wear all day, laces are great and provide a really secure fit. Try on as many different brands as you can. You may find one brand really suits your foot shape and will be comfortable even if you go down a few sizes. We've got a good range of shoes here at the boardroom, some of the top brands, and our staff are always willing to help you find the right pair. Now you've got your shoes, you're good to go. Check out some of our other instructional videos to improve your climbing.